Hi, I'm Yukiko Miyamoto of the National Institute of Japanese Literature. My research is on Edo period Japanese literature with a focus on popular fiction, especially ukiyo zoshi. In this video, we'll take a look at the picture book for children titled Ehon Yoshitsune Shimameguri or Yoshitsune's Voyage Among the Islands. Yoshitsune was a military commander of the Minamoto clan in 12th century Japan. He led a successful campaign against the Taira clan, but after he fell out with his older brother Yoritomo, he fled to Tohoku in the northern part of Japan, where he died. Since then, he has been commemorated as a tragic hero. According to one legend, Yoshitsune did not die in Tohoku, but traveled further north to Ezo, or present-day Hokkaido. This picture book expands on that legend and shows Yoshitsune and his entourage, including his retainer Benkei, traveling to various imaginary islands and locations. This picture book was published in Kyoto, probably in the middle of the 19th century, at the end of the Edo period. Some pages are missing, but this copy at the Freer Gallery of Art is truly a rare find. The monochrome outlines were printed with woodblocks, and then colors were added by stenciling. This coloring technique that uses stencils and brushes is called kappazuri in Japanese. The result is a beautiful work, full of bright colors. Now, Let's visit some of the islands. This is an imaginary island where tiny people live. The islanders use a storage chest as a lunchbox for Yoshitsune at a blossom viewing party. A giant eagle snatches one of the islanders, but Benkei saves him by offering prayers. Next, we go to an imaginary country named Night Country. The text says that this country is located near Holland and it is daytime for half the year and nighttime for the other half. Yoshitsune and his companions fight in the dark of night and struggle, but when the sun comes out, their luck returns. Kamaka is a country of brave women. They fight with Yoshitsune and his men, but in the end, they are drawn to his charm. This island is named Monomotatsuha, we don't know where it could have been. The text says that men on this island are bare-chested year-round. Here, Yoshitsune receives elephant meat and wine. The islanders' hair may have looked exotic to Edo period readers. Throughout the Edo period, stories about Yoshitsune's travels to foreign lands appeared in a large number of published works. Yoshitsune was a very popular hero. Also, we have to remember that there was always great interest in distant places. Here is an illustrated hand scroll produced in Japan around the 16th century at the end of the Muromachi period. It is titled Onzo Shishimawatari, or Yoshitsune's Voyage to the Islands. It depicts half horse, half human islanders. 
as well as an island populated by little people. Similar islands appear in Gulliver's Travels by the Anglo Irish author Jonathan Swift, published in 1726. Some scholars have argued that Gulliver's Travels may have been influenced by Yoshitsune's voyage to the islands. Edo period leaders also enjoyed reading about journeys to foreign countries. In Hiraga Genna's novel, Furyu Shidouken Den, or The Modern Life of Shidouken, the main character, who is not Yoshitsune, travels far and wide around the world. This work became a bestseller when it was published in 1763. Curiosity about what lies on the other side of the ocean may be universal across time and space. Finally, let's return to Yoshitsune's voyage among the islands. On the front cover, in the upper right corner, there is a slip that shows that this book was previously owned by Sugiura Kyuen, an early 20th century Japanese entrepreneur. It's interesting when we think about how this book itself has traveled to the seas from 19th century Kyoto and Sugiura's collection to Gerhard Pulivera's collection in Germany, and then to its current home in the United States at the Freer Gallery of Art. The Freer Gallery of Art has made images of many fascinating books available online. I hope you have a chance to explore them.